Welcome to an art video. This is my cat, Bonnie. I love her. She's everything. It's really hard to find ideas for a YouTube video. So I'm picking kind of a basic thing, which is drawing every day for a week. Today is currently Wednesday. So next Wednesday, the challenge will be done. I've already started today, but I'll draw more. Don't, don't worry. I'm like flipped right now, but I drew these two things and like this and this that creature don't know what it is. i'm just gonna take you with me on my journey of drawing every day because i've been at an art block kind of recently and i've been really busy but if i just take a small amount of time every single day hopefully we'll see some improvement hopefully but if we don't let's not get discouraged now let's get on to some some drawing here we start off with the Hello Kitty. Just to get my hand flowing, moving. I don't and I didn't zoom in on the little drawing because I thought it was cool that you could see me eating my food and it slowly disappeared. I scrolled on Pinterest to find a reference because I just have no ideas for what to draw recently. They just don't come to my brain. So this is the photo that I was looking at. I made my own interpretation of it, but it's pretty similar. I know that drawing every day doesn't necessarily mean that your art will improve. At least that's what I've heard. There's this saying it was, I think it was perfect practice makes perfect instead of just practice makes perfect. Like if you draw every day using the right techniques, that's when you're going to see improvement, which I might do that. I guess I'll try to study some things, which I already kind of did today because I've never drawn a realistic side profile. And I drew a realistic side profile of myself and it turned out well. I'm actually proud of it. I didn't really finish it because there were more details I needed to add to the hair, but I had to go to class, so didn't want to go back and do that. Also, recently I've been trying to get into hair care because I'm trying to grow out my hair because it's been the same length for like over a year. Probably because of all the bleach damage and maybe my, me not trimming it properly. But I never really took care of it before, but now I'm taking care of it. Like I'm oiling my hair every day. I'm brushing it gently. I'm using Oloplex. I've trimmed it a little myself. I learned how to cut my own hair, so that's good. But I'm seeing all these different things with hair. If they're saying oiling's bad, then they're saying it's the best thing they've ever done with their hair. And then people are saying to trim it or else it's it's gonna split up and break and then it's never going to grow and then i'm seeing other people saying not to trim it when you're trying to grow it out it's just gonna get rid of all your progress so i don't know what to do and i'm conflicted so if any of you guys have any hair care tips put them in the comments i'd appreciate it also this is one of my favorite parts about drawing is going in with the marker and outlining it it just makes it come all together and it's really satisfying and i like doing the lines and the hearts and all that stuff i think it's very cool I don't know what is going on with me and my relationship with art. I just haven't really been motivated at all. And there's the finished piece. Well, the finished pieces, I guess. I think that's all I'm going to do today because I'm tired. All right, so it's day two. I feel like I'm probably not going to get a lot of drawing done today because I have a bunch of other stuff that I want to try and focus on. But I know that I am going to draw today at least some because it's my goal. I want to get at least two finished drawings done. By the end of this week if i had more time i would make it more crazy but i don't have a lot of time let's get into the drawings what the f what is so today i drew while i was at school because i didn't really have time outside of school to draw so i was like okay when can i draw and i was like oh i guess i can draw in school so drawing footage isn't really that good but i drew this little bunny and i love the bunny the bunny's very cute and then I just resorted to a little elf doodle. There's not really much that I can say about this. I was just drawing in class. And I mean, I like the way that they turned out. It's day three. And today isn't going to be promising because I don't have a lot of time. I feel like I need to challenge myself. Just a little at least. I'll do a realistic face and some sort of dynamic pose. So let's get into the drawing before I have to leave. So we start off with just some random doodle nothing too creative just something to warm me up i guess i drew like part of the head yesterday but i never finished it <laughs> so now this is just me finishing it up and then this footage made me so mad because whenever i recorded it instead of time lapse i put it in slow motion so i had to edit it to take out the slow-mo so it was just a regular video that's why it looks kind of weird and fuzzy and I sped it up through iMovie, but it'll only speed up so fast, so I had to cut out parts, and it was gonna look really cool in time-lapse, 
but it wasn't. So now it's just the way it is. I'll put the picture of the reference that I used up on screen. This is a character from Get Out. If you haven't seen the movie, it is really good by Jordan Peele. I love horror movies, they're amazing. If you don't like horror movies, I would not suggest watching it because it's definitely scary. I just like trying to practice realistic faces, trying to capture the emotion in it. I really want to improve my art, but you know, time, I just don't have as much time as I would like to just sit down and draw for hours straight, but I really like to. I would like to make more YouTube content. If you guys have any ideas for what kind of videos you want to see, I will greatly appreciate it because it's hard to come up with YouTube ideas. I apologize for my stomach growling. It was really hard trying to draw the tears in this little sketch. There were lots of highlights in the photo, but I couldn't really encompass it because I'm not that good at making highlights, especially with how small I drew this sketch. So it was pretty hard to make the tears, but I feel like I made it look believable. Does anyone else have an obsession with snakes? Because I definitely do. I've been wanting a snake ever since I was younger, but I could never get one and I still can't get one. Eventually in the future, I plan on getting one. Maybe a corn snake. Maybe one of those hognose snakes, because those are really cute. Maybe just a ball python. Maybe a giant python, like those yellow big snakes that you can just wrap around you. Anyways, there's the finished sketch. That's all I'm drawing today. So it's day four, and I really don't feel like drawing today because I just finished a history essay. I did this to myself. I'll just draw later in the day, like late at night, because I'm about to go out. Let's get into the drawing. My struggle with drawing is I always forget how much I love to draw until I actually start drawing. So whenever I'm not drawing and I have some free time, I'm like, oh, I could draw right now. But then I'm like, oh, that doesn't really sound fun. Plus, I don't have any ideas. But when I just sit down and do it, it's fun. And I'm like, wait, I can actually create cool things? I forgot how cool this was. Which is partly why I tried this challenge, by just sitting down and drawing at least something every day and i think it'll help me for in the future drawing more this whole challenge and there are the drawings for today all right so it's day five day five i've already drawn some today because while i was at work and i had time i got my phone and i drew on ibs paint and the speed paint it's cropped weird when i put it in this video so i'm just gonna put the finished product here that's what it looks like and I'm going to be painting this. Cause this is my Halloween costume. I'm gonna be a box troll. <laughs> this is the progress. And then I'll just show you when it's done because it's gonna be hard to film the process of this. There's the finished box. I mean, it's not like cut out yet, but considering that this Halloween is Tuesday and this video ends Wednesday, I guess I will film like this all put together. It's day six and I just realized that it would actually end tomorrow, not Wednesday, like I said in the beginning. I don't know what math that was. <laughs> I'm gonna go work on some schoolwork and then if I get done with that in time, I'm gonna draw. And then if not, after work, I will draw, so. Let's get into the drawing. Overall, with this whole challenge, I did not complete nearly as much drawing as I wanted to. I wanted to complete two finished pieces, and spoiler alert, I only did one, which was the digital drawing, which I don't even know if I would consider that a finished piece. Like, it looks finished, and I posted it on my Instagram. It was basically a doodle, and it did not take me that long, and I wanted to do to traditional finished pieces because I think my traditional finished pieces look really cool when I do them right but this whole week just wasn't a good week for me to do this video and I knew that I wanted to draw some so I was like okay I just gotta draw something and maybe during the time that I was doing all those doodles I could have been working on a finished piece but I didn't have any ideas I knew that I had to draw something and I didn't want to start on a finished piece and then not finish it because the way I work is if I'm starting a finished piece I usually want to do it all in one sitting anyways that was my little rant they're the drawings <laughs> ignore everything today's the day it's halloween obviously and i don't really want to draw so instead i'm gonna do my troll makeup as my drawing for today this whole costume put together is gonna just be an art piece on its own and i'm gonna look crazy and how the process is going i look a little a little insane in case anyone wants to say that i didn't technically draw today 
there.